hello guys welcome back to my channel oh my god i am so happy to be back with you guys um now if you don't know if you don't follow me on instagram make sure to follow me on instagram if you don't so if you guys don't know i've been gone for like a month pretty much and the reason is because sorry about that so i was gone for a month because i went to california me and my family went to california to go visit our family um my husband's side of the family because they he is from california so we went to go visit them and we also wanted to you know have a little vacation for ourselves and for the kids um so we took the kids to disneyland we went to California Adventure, we went to Universal Studios, we went on a cruise, which I've never been to a cruise before, so I was super excited for that. We went on a three-day cruise, um, and it was so, so much fun, guys. I honestly had the time of my life. I can honest, honestly say that it was the best vacation I've ever had in my life. Um, I got to see my family as well they flew in from texas to california to go see us for a little bit and it was just so much fun guys it was i don't know it like almost like makes me sad thinking about it because i didn't want it to end um i miss my family so so much it's so hard um I don't mean to like be a big baby or like complain or anything. I'm very grateful, you know, for where we are in our lives. Um, but I do miss my family so, so much. I, I'm really close with my mom and my sister. And, you know, seeing them again, it was just so much fun and even more fun, you know, getting to go to Disneyland and Universal Studios and just, you know, having the time of our lives together um i'm really grateful for that um so anyways guys i don't want to ramble too much um, um today i am going to be showing you some makeup products skincare hair products that i got while i was in california i wanted to take advantage that i was over there because here in uae um i feel like they don't have a lot of the brands that they have in the u.s or at least that i've seen so I did pick up quite a few things, I'm not going to lie. And, you know, I just wanted to take advantage um, to buy some brands that I really, really love. And I figured I could show you guys everything that I bought. Um, now, this makeup that I did, I did use one of the palettes that I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, so, yeah, um, be sure to grab a snack, do your makeup. Um you know because it's gonna be a very long video i feel so if you want to keep watching then stay tuned okay guys so um i don't know if you can tell but i am a little tanned <laughs> as you can tell um i really like it i actually um saw this um in target so i've been wanting to get a self tanner for quite a long time but i've been trying to do some research which one's the best blah 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 and i was gonna pick up the saint tropez um self tanner um i was shopping for other things i think for the kids and i saw this right here let me show you guys um this is uh, the brand is Tanologist Express Tan. Um, this is self-tan water. I mean, I don't know about you. I, I It's the first time I hear about it, obviously, because I haven't been to the U.S. in a long time. Um, but it's a water tanner. It's a tanning um, spray. I don't know if it's a spray. Yeah, it's actually a, a spray. And it's water it's like liquidy i'm really excited to try it i figured i could do a first impressions i also saw this these are um self tan drop so yeah this is what it looks like um this is for the face it says face and body drops so uh let me just read to you what it says in the back so it says made to measure glow serum for the face body 
face and body with advanced tanning technology to supercharge your existing skincare. Add to moisturizer for a hyper real, super hydrated glow. Odorless technology, transparent tanning system for zero streaks and zero transfer. It says that it's clean, vegan, and organic. Now, um, I'm very excited to try this, guys. These two right here. Um, I've never heard of tanning water. Now, I um, before I left to California, I did dye my hair. Um, you can't really um, see much of it since I have it up right now. But I did pick up this um, Olaplex number no. three. It's a hair mask. Um, let me show you right here. And um, I've tried it uh, twice already. And I can honestly say I am in love with this. It really helps um, your your hair um, when it's, you know, since when, when you bleach it, it really damages your hair. And I can honestly say it helps it um, repair. It's like super smooth. You know, when you like bleach it, you know, it almost feels like kind of like a broom. Kind of like like straw feeling and um, when you apply this after you shampoo and condition it really you really see a huge difference in your hair i mean i noticed right away my hair was super smooth you know i could comb my hair without you know struggling to get the comb through my hair so i really really highly recommend this if you bleach your hair um or even if you just dye your hair, I highly recommend this uh, hair mask. Another thing that I got, actually, um, they gave it to me as a little gift um, when I bought some makeup at Sephora. Uh, I haven't tried, I haven't tried it, but you know, it really, I'm really um, interested in seeing what it does for me. Uh, this is Triple Sec Three in One. It texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. I'm excited to um, see what it does for my hair. Um, and yeah. Okay, so another thing that I picked up, this is a, a body uh, lotion. And I've been using it uh, for a while now. And I used it while I was in California. So you can see right here how much I've used. I really, really like it. Um, let me show you. I really, I really love the smell and it really does keep my skin um, hydrated. I love the smell, I can't stop smelling it. Um, but I really like it so far. I have really dry skin, so it's hard for me to find a good moisturizer for my body. And I figured I would pick this up and it honestly has been doing a really good job at hydrating my skin. I apply it, I, I apply it right after I shower and anytime I feel like my hands or my elbows are really dry, I apply this and I recommend it, you know, you try it out if you want. This is what it looks like. If you know me, um, I love Target. I That's like one of my stores that I've missed so much since uh, living here in UAE. I used to go to Target like almost every day. I'm not gonna lie. I love it. I don't know. It's just my happy place when I go there. I'm just, I'm just happy when I'm in Target and it gets me in trouble because I end up buying a lot of shit that I don't need. But I had to stop at Target, you know. So the next thing that I got that I've been using so, so much after I shower or anytime I want to smell good, um, this is the Pacifica Island Vanilla Perfumed Hair and Body Mist. Oh, I forgot it's a hair mist as well. So I do apply it to my hair whenever um, I'm done showering as well or when after I do my hair after I strain it or whatever I spritz it on my hair and I spray it this everywhere I love the smell I've always loved the smell of vanilla and if you love vanilla you're gonna love this um, it is 100% vegan and cruelty free which I love and yeah I really highly recommend this you should try it out it smells Smells delicious. Now moving on to uh, skincare, I picked up my favorite products from Tatcha. Well, these are two of my favorites. Um, 
it was a little set um, and this came with it let me show you so I've been wanting to try the a silk canvas primer from Tatcha and I saw this at Sephora it was a little set and these are the three products that came with it um, it was a little um, travel size uh, silk canvas primer which I was so excited to try um, I didn't want to purchase the big one just because um, like I've said in my videos before whenever I want to try a new product I don't like buying the um, regular size because you know if I don't like it I don't I don't want to like have to return it and spend the money so if I can find a travel size for it I will buy that try it out and if I do end up liking it I go ahead and purchase the regular size of the product so anyway this came in the little uh, travel set um, this is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia, Camellia, Camellia Cleansing Oil. Now, I've used this before and I love, love, love this thing to um, remove my makeup. Of course, I don't just use this to remove my makeup. I cleanse and um, I use a toner and everything, but I really like this when it comes to removing like excess makeup. Yeah, I really highly recommend this. If you haven't tried it this I've tried it um twice now actually I've tried it twice I tried it when I was in California and I actually really liked it and I actually used it uh, right now for this makeup look and I like it um I don't know if I see like a huge difference like like oh my god it makes my foundation like look so amazing uh, maybe I need to give it more time and try it a few more times just to like really see and like compare what it does to my makeup. I feel like I'm, I need to give this uh, a little bit more time and try it, you know, a few more times before I tell you if I really recommend it. I don't know. This is my favorite thing. One of the most, my most favorite things in the world. Um, this is the Tatcha Luminous. Luminous? luminous dewy skin mist i love this thing i spray this like all day and you know it probably shouldn't do that because it's kind of expensive um but i really love um how it makes ugh, ugh. i really love how uh, my skin feels when i apply it how it looks it really hydrates your skin and it makes your makeup look dewy if that's what you if that's the look that you like i really highly recommend uh you try this out next talking about primers um i picked up this uh, milk makeup hydro grip primer and it looks like this um i was actually looking for the stick but I couldn't find it at Sephora. I don't know if they didn't have it or maybe I just didn't see it. Um, so I picked this one up and I can honestly say I really like it. Um, now it is a grip primer. So that means that, um, you know, it, it is sticky when you apply it. So it really, um, so the foundation really like adheres to um, the primer to your face and um so far i actually really really like it um i didn't think that i would like you know the like techiness that it has but i can honestly say it does make uh, quite a bit of a difference um when applying the foundation it really does make it look uh, much better in my opinion next um i got this uh rose deep hydration facial toner i forgot um who I saw uh, talking about this. I'm sure a lot of beauty gurus um, use this and I'm really excited to use it. Um, I love toners. I don't know why. I'm, I've been like really um, trying to look for um, skincare products uh, for my skin just because I'm not getting any younger. I am almost 30. I'm going to be turning 30 this year. So I really need to take care of my skin. So I've been really uh, doing some research and um, trying out products, like skincare products for my skin. This is a travel size. Um, and yeah, um, you know, if I like it, I believe actually they don't have this brand here in UAE. So if I end up loving this 
I'm probably screwed <laughs> and I'm gonna have to wait till I go to the US to buy the bigger product buy the bigger size so oh well now this is my favorite product that I picked up while I was in the US this right here is a cleansing balm now I'm sorry it looks all nasty um, it kind of um, came out a little bit it's the pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm now I it's the first time I had tried a cleansing balm um, now I all my life I've used um, makeup wipes and I've been doing a lot of research and watching a lot of videos of um, people saying that makeup wipes are actually not really good enough for when removing your makeup obviously you have to cleanse tone and all that but a cleansing balm does a better job at removing your makeup and honestly guys this is life-changing I honestly don't know if I'm gonna go back to um, my Neutrogena um, makeup remover wipes this is all I need when it comes to removing my makeup. I do um, go back and forth with my cleansing oil by Tatcha and this, but this, I can honestly say this works so much better. Um, I've been using it for a while now and this is how much I have left, so you can definitely see that I've been using quite a bit. Um, this comes with like a little scooper right here. Let me see if I can pull it out. Oh, dirty. Sorry if it's dirty. <laughs> sorry sorry so um so yeah it comes with this little like scoopy thing and you use it to scoop out the product and then you apply it to your hands rub it in and just massage it onto your skin oh shit um you massage it onto your skin and then just wash it off with like warm water or whatever and oh my gosh guys i really really highly recommend you guys try it out it makes a huge difference um, when removing your makeup and it's easy you know all you do is scoop it up rub it on your face wash it off and you cleanse tone moisturize and that's it I mean it's and it smells so so good oh it smells so delicious I really highly recommend you try this out they have it at Sephora and I believe I've seen it at on Amazon as well I'm gonna look it up on Amazon and I'll leave the link down below for you guys if you want to try it out so next moving on to makeup products um, I purchased quite a few things from ColourPop this is I'm going to start with this since we are already in the skincare um, area right now. Um, I saw this uh, on their um, I saw this on their website. It's the Fourth Ray Beauty. I'm guessing that's the brand. Yeah, it is a brand, and it's the lightweight hydrator. And actually, I really like it. It looks like this. Um, and I actually really like it. I applied it a few times uh, while I was in California before my foundation. Um, now, I love anything that hydrates my skin because um, ever since I gave birth to my babies, um, I now deal with dry skin. Before I had kids, I used to have super, super oily skin. So, um, yeah, my body completely changed after I had babies. So, um, this actually I really like and I, I do recommend it, you know, if you want to try it out. I forgot how much it was. Um, I'll try to put it um, on the screen if I remember, but I'm pretty sure it was um, relatively um, affordable. It was cheap, I guess you can say. Not cheap, like, you know, cheap, but it was, it was affordable. I did get quite a few uh, eyeshadow palettes that are new to me that I've been wanting to try. So this first uh, eyeshadow palette, it's the Dream Dream Street um, by Kathleen Lights and Colourpop collab. And I've been wanting to try this um, eyeshadow palette for quite a while. 
this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys know what it looks like. It's so beautiful. I've used it quite a few times and I can honestly say from the palettes that I got, um, this has been the one that I reach out to the most. So um, the colors are just so beautiful. They blend beautifully. The color payoff is really good as well. So if you haven't tried this, I really highly recommend you check this out. ColourPop is a super affordable and amazing uh, makeup brand that I love. And yeah, I mean, the, the makeup is so affordable, guys. And, you know, their products are very, very good. I personally love ColourPop. So this next um, eyeshadow palette is the Brown Sugar and it's the Carouge, Carouge? Oh my god, I don't wanna like butcher the name. Carouge and ColourPop. And it looks like this. This is also one of my um, favorites um, that I got from ColourPop because this is like kind of like my vibe right here. So um, I really love this color. Oh my gosh. Next um, palette that I got from ColourPop, it is the Yes Please. This is it right here. You can make like a very beautiful summer look with this palette, even a fall look would be great with this palette. I really, 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 really like this palette as well. So now this is the Mar Mar eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. Isn't it so beautiful? I'm gonna say beautiful for like all the palettes because they are beautiful. Um, I really, I don't know, just eyeshadow palettes just make me so happy. <laughs> Um, now, uh, these uh, palettes that I got, uh, these are shadows or colors, shades that I've never, that I don't own um, in any of my uh, eyeshadow palette collection. So I was very excited to get this. Um, I don't really have any like blues or anything like this, so I can't wait to try it out. I haven't really tried this palette that much. I think I tried these two colors right here just because, you know, it's kind of like in my range, my vibe. Um, but I'm very excited to give these blue colors a whirl and this very beautiful color right here. But they're all very, very nice. This is the Give It To Me Straight eyeshadow palette. Oh my god these look at that so so beautiful this is the it's my pleasure it looks like this and oop, i have not tried this um eyeshadow palette i really want to do a purple look of this palette i'm very excited i don't have anything like this guys so i was super super excited to get it and when i saw it i was like oh this color right here this bottom it's like foil foiled oh my oh I don't know if the um, camera does it any justice but wow oh can you see that do you see that oh my god I'm so excited to try this out I can't wait to do an eyeshadow um tutorial with this i'm very very excited so stay tuned for that now this i was super super excited because oh my god just just look at these wow very excited to do a makeup tutorial with this um eyeshadow palette it's so beautiful the pinks are just so so beautiful this bright pink i'm very excited to try it out ColourPop eyeliners and these are it. These are the colors that I got. Got the shade Workout, which is this black one right here. Honey Dude. Yeah, Honey Dude, which is a very nice um, nude. That very like nice nude um, uh, eyeliner that I like to put sometimes on my waterline. Some fun colors. Um, I got this one, this kind of like periwinkle color. This is Prince. I'm very excited to try it out. I got Zulu, very beautiful um, 
um, like kind of turquoise aqua color and then I got the overboard which is a very uh, very very nice bronzy color that I'm actually can you guys see that I'm actually uh, wearing it right now in my waterline of course I had to get some lip sticks from ColourPop so I got these these are little these were like little sets these are it right here um, I got Ziggy I got Brick Brink I got Cami and I got Aftershock which is a matte formula very very beautiful I got a Ziggy in matte I got Love Life and this is a red that I was very excited to try I haven't tried it yet I mean to be honest I haven't really tried um, uh, much of the lip products I think I've tried maybe two or three and I forgot which ones were the ones that I tried got this lipstick um, it's a uh, liquid courage very beautiful red color let me see and this is it right here very beautiful red I don't own a lot of uh, red lipsticks so I did end up purchasing a few red lipsticks as I'm gonna show you I also got this um, glossy lip and it's in the shade hypnotize uh, this is what it looks like so this is it right here very very beautiful lip gloss I'm actually wearing it right now and I also got this um, lip primer from ColourPop and oh my god guys I actually really like this this actually makes the lipsticks um, stay on better I don't know what it has but this is actually really really good and I highly recommend you guys try it out so I think that is it for ColourPop no it's not um, I got this brush as well guys from ColourPop I don't know why I just wanted to give it a try it is the F15 and wow guys I really am impressed with this foundation brush I really really like it um, I've been using it I've used it quite a few times and I really really like it and it's very affordable so I highly recommend you guys give it a try it's really 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 good yeah I ended up ordering like 10 Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks because because I've never tried them before I've always wanted to try them out I don't know why I've never ordered any Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks I mean I know a lot of people love them so I couldn't wait to try them out so I purchased them and oh my gosh guys right now i am using celebrity skin under the ColourPop lip gloss and wow oh my gosh guys i really really love this nude um liquid lipstick it's so beautiful okay so i got the celebrity skin i got red rum a very beautiful red like i said i don't own a lot of actually don't own any like red lipstick so i wanted a super super rich red liquid lipstick so i got that i got allegedly which i've tried it and it's amazing i got calabasas very beautiful uh thickest thieves i've tried it also and i am in love i can honestly this is like one of my favorites from the jeffree star liquid lipsticks i got christmas cookie very beautiful i got wifey i haven't tried this very excited to try this one this is like a brick color very very excited to try it. i should have probably worn it right now but it's okay next time um, what else did I get? I got uh, andro Androgyny? Androgyny? Oh my god, I always have a hard time. And Androgyny? Androgyny? Yeah, I got this one. I also got that one. And I got Leo. Very beautiful. Um, a very, very beautiful liquid lipstick. I love, love this one. One of my favorites. I got Mannequin. And I think that's it from the uh, liquid lipsticks. Let me see. I, I don't know why they ended up they end up sending me, I think, 
two Christmas cookies. Two Christmas cookies. I think they sent, no, they sent me two um, mannequins, I think. I don't know why. Um, I'm sure it's somewhere in here. Oh, I forgot. Um, I also got this one, Top 8 from Colourpop. It just popped in here. Pretty color. I'm excited to try this one out. So yeah, that is it for my uh, Jeffree Star um, liquid lipstick. So I also got, um, I've never tried this brand before. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Eyeshadow Palettes. And I got these three right here. Um, I got the Mini Lila or Lila Palette. I got the Mini Nude Palette. I'm going to show you right now. I got the Mini Sunset Eyeshadow Palette. And this is the eyeshadow palette that I used for this makeup. So if you guys like this makeup look, let me know in the bottom, in the comment section. And I'll more than happy make a makeup tutorial. This beautiful eyeshadow palette. I used all the colors in this little eyeshadow palette. I love love it so far. This color is just so so beautiful. Super pigmented, super easy to use. So I was very very excited that I got this one. Then let's see. I haven't tried these other two um, palettes. This is the mini nude uh, eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. But I can't wait to try this eyeshadow palette. The colors are just so, so stunning. And, you know, from me trying that other, uh, the, the, the mini sunset eyeshadow palette, I can already tell that I'm going to love, um, you know, the other two eyeshadow palettes. The colors blend so, so well. They're just so beautiful, so pigmented. This is the one that I'm mostly excited to try just because I don't have anything like this as well. Um, these colors can you just take a moment to look at this this color right here wow i don't know why it looks blue on camera but it is um it's like an iridescent like blue purpley color it's more purple like in person but i don't know why in the cam on the camera it looks blue yeah it's like an iridescent um eyeshadow it's so so beautiful i can't wait to create a look using these um colors right here um i have never heard of this brand before uh, maybe you have i haven't this is the kaja is it kaja i don't know how you pronounce it kaja um so this these are eyeshadows right here i thought it was so cute and so smart to put them like this um, it's this is a chocolate dahlia bundle, I guess you can call it and this color right here uh, This right here. It's so beautiful. Let me see if I can swatch it Wow, this is beautiful So this first color right here right here This is what it looks like very very beautiful i feel like you can even use this as a highlighter if you want to this is kind of like a nude nude color very beautiful as a transition um shadow and then this one is just a very rich brown eyeshadow very excited to try these out i've never heard of this brand before so i was very excited to you know give it a whirl. It actually does have names for each shadow. I threw away um, the, the little box that it came with for the first one. So this one is the Glowing Guava and it does have the names of the, the eyeshadows. These are the colors right here. This is um, Smoky Sepia. This is Sparkling Rosé. Froze or Froze? I don't know. Velvety Mauve right here. I can't wait to try these out. Definitely going to do a um, tutorial with them and kind of give the first impressions. I got this um, Charlotte Tilbury um, Eyes to Mesmerize Long Lasting Easy Color. Let me open it for you guys. This is it right here. 
it's a uh, it's an eyeshadow um, cream I believe that's what you call it I don't know if you can see it it's like a taupey taupey color works so good for like a beautiful like smoky sexy sultry eye so maybe that can be a makeup tutorial who knows but I'm very excited to try this out so I got these little uh, travel size Stila glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows and then I also got this one this is a shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow I've tried this one and I really really love it so let me show you guys what they look like So next, uh, we're almost done here guys, so bear with me. Um, next I did get um, some Lily lashes. I'm actually wearing them right now. Um, these are, oh my god, which ones are these? I don't, I feel like these are the Mykonos. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm wearing the Mykonos. Um, yeah, Mykonos, oh my gosh. <laughs> I really like that they have like a thick band. I don't know about you guys, but I personally love when they have when the lashes have a thick band. I feel like it's easier to apply because they're thicker, and then also kind of gives you the illusion that you have um, eyeliner. So I really like that. I picked up this makeup geek makeup geek eyeshadow palette at Target, and wow, I've been using this quite a bit. Um, this is what it looks like. This is the Caramel Coffee um, eyeshadow palette. It's so beautiful. I really love this um, eyeshadow and my daughter, of course, couldn't resist and she was just digging her nails into the eyeshadow. I really love this little uh, quad. So yeah, I felt like while I was in California, I felt like I was reaching... Um, for this eyeshadow palette the most just because I feel like you can create any look with this you can create a smoky look a nighttime look a day look anything so I really really like this um, eyeshadow palette from Makeup Geek last but not least I picked this up at Sephora and I'm sure you guys have heard of it. A lot of people have been, I feel, talking about it lately. And I picked this up because my girl, Nicole Guerrero, Guerrero, yeah, Nicole Guerrero um, talked about it. And I couldn't wait to try this out. I have not tried it out, but I'm really, really excited to try it. Um, this is the matte velvet skin blurring powder foundation now i felt like this was perfect for me because here in uae the heat is like super 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 intense so when i go out you know, i tend to sweat a lot in like my mustache area so the foundation tends to come off so i need something to kind of help me touch it up when I am out and about. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of my video. Thank you so, so much to all my subscribers, to my new subscribers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to ring the notification bell. Click the notification bell. Anyways, guys, I'll see you on my next video.